And good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching News 5 at 6. I'm Rob Quirk. I'm Diane Derby. President Joe Biden visited Pueblo today to celebrate recent federal investments in clean energy development. News 5's Andy Cohen begins our coverage from CS Wind with more on the president's speech. Andy? Yeah, this was an easy pitch for the president to make here at CS Wind, which is undergoing, as we've reported, a major expansion. That growth, the company leaders attribute to incentives that are in the Inflation Reduction Act. Now, the president walked to the stage this afternoon, emerging from one of those massive wind towers that are produced here. This is the largest wind tower manufacturing facility in the world. They've already doubled their workforce. They plan to hire as many as 850 new employees by the year 2026. The president explained how this legislation creates bonuses for companies who use American-made products as part of their renewable energy development. All across America, instead of exporting jobs, companies, both foreign and domestic, are creating jobs here in America and exporting American-made products. The president also celebrated federal investments in other manufacturing industries. For example, the company Microchip expanding its Colorado Springs workforce in response to the passage of the CHIPS Act, which incentivizes domestic semiconductor production. The president was welcomed to town by Mayor Nick Gratisar, Senator John Hickenlooper, and Governor Jared Polis. And we were hoping to share a few sound bites from those gentlemen with you, uh, but we ran into some technical issues out here at the production facility. Uh, but safe to say, they are all in agreement that Pueblo is a leader in Colorado's renewable energy economy. Reporting live in Pueblo, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thank you. Many people.